Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is I once again, Mace, the old fart of the outerheaven.net area. Once again, doing one of my favourite things that have, has become a nice little pastime for myself is going through card packs. Card packs. And using dual camera setup, we are going to go through Upper Deck Series 1 from 1993-1994. This was the year I started with uh, with basketball cards. Now, they will be mostly going to my main camera here. Let's have a quick look at what's going on. Series 1, 4 packs, tough resistance, blah blah blah. Cards 1 through 255. That's actually pretty good, as that actually gives us a better idea of how many cards are in this set. We are not getting them all in this 10 packs. However, odds of finding a pack containing a Michael Jordan's Flight Team card, 1 in 30. A 3D Triple Double Standouts Lithogram card, 1 in 20. So we have a 1 in 20 and a 1 in 30 chance of getting inserts. These are not as sort of fun as the, the good old hoops. But, these were the ones that all the kids collected. Basically, you got hoops if you weren't able to really afford to buy the upper deck stuff, but you still wanted cards to trade. But most of the kids, man, they only wanted upper deck cards. I will never, ever work out why they wanted upper deck cards. Hey, look at this. Look at this. This is terrible. But then again, it goes to show how long these cards have been sitting ugh, 20 plus years. And because they're all all nice and shiny and stuff, they're, uh, they tend to stick together. So, so I do a quick... And this is the worst thing. They weren't like the Hoops ones. The Hoops ones were nice cardboard cards. These are still cardboard, but they've been cleaned up. And they got like all sorts of sticky lithogram sh uh, shiny shit on them. Which makes them extremely hard to sort of to sort and keep going. And this what this was known to have many subsets as well. So just to give you an idea, this is like it, as you can see, the reflection, the reflection off uh, off my my light there. Like that's how shiny they were, and that's why these packs are going to be hard to get through. So, Mark Eaton for the Jazz, Jeff Malone, it's not the Malone we want. John Paxson, Anthony Bruno. Sam Perkins for the Supersonics. Buck Williams for the Trailblazers. Eddie Johnson for the Sonics. Now this one, I, by, I mean, like, there's a, it's a 255 card set, but you have things like this. Like, it's a team... It's a team card with schedules. You know, you got the, the 1993 playoff highlights. You've got the NBA Finals highlights. You've got season leaders, which were, you know, season leader in, well, as you can see, we got a Hakeem Elijah one here, and he was Defensive Player of the Year. Huh. And a signature move, Michael Jordan. Which you'd think would be a great thing to pull, until you realise it's a part of that 255 card set. Which, let's be honest, if that's... And I believe you actually get less. So that, that's just what a pack contains. Like this one... Sorry, as so I reach off camera. Like, these, these were 12 cards a pack. And these were 12 cards packed, but somehow it feels like you get less with that. But, still no more packs. Who knows, we might get one of those elusive 1 in 20, 1 in 30. 
I have a good feeling. And again, look, like, this is the way... I suppose this one's not as stuck as the last one, which is good. As I... So we'll just sort of go through as, as I'm sorting here. Hawks, Nicks, Suns. I'm gonna get this squishy shit. Mr. Morris from the Nets. I, I like their, their designs, like their designs were really well done. Like nice, easy edging, it looks fancy but very simple at the same time. And you sort of seem to get the same style of assortment. Like there's the Sacramento Kings schedule card. Game six from the that year, which I believe was it's got to be the <laughs> Phoenix Suns and the Chicago Bulls that year, which I believe was a winning a winner for the Bulls. In the playoff. This will be our season leader, Shaquille O'Neal, rookie of the year. That's why I wanted these sets. Shaquille O'Neal rookie card. And a checklist, second half checklist, uh, that's 129 through 192. But let's see if we can pull some of the more elusive guys. Let's see if we can get some of the guys that featured in NBA Jam, which was a big thing back in that day. You know... Well, sorry, I'm just trying to sort these into a, a more viewable styling. It's the biggest problem with these, really. Um, they weren't really all that great when it came to... So, we got clicker, Clippers, we got Mr. Mark Jackson... Oh, there we go. There we go. We have a triple-double. I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera. But you can sort of see a blurred image in there. This one is... Kenny Anderson from the Nets. I don't know if you can really see that. It pick it up in the camera. Let's see if this one picks it up any better. There you go. Sort of a 3D standout lithograph card so there you go we got one of those and one of those was one in twenty so there you go one in twenty one in twenty we pulled in pack three so we got a Seattle Supersonics Sam Perkins Larry Kosovex Grant Long uh, if I remember correctly Grant Long actually went over to the Bulls in the second half of that year. So I remember seeing him in Bulls, in Bulls with, with, yeah, Bulls. The Trail Sprewell now, he had a future back then. Emile Robinson, Trailblazers schedule card. I guess we get a Rockets one as well, it's also a schedule card. Game five. And a playoffs card. And Walter Bond from the Mavericks. And then we're back to the start again. So there you go. One. One in 20 card. That we pulled from these packs. Now I always picked up some... Uh, like, the NBA Hoops series is still going. I almost picked up some of the 2014-2015 uh, set that I was going to look into doing a, uh, a a bit of a, an opening for. 
But they're like four bucks a pack. But then again, I've bought these at four bucks a pack too, so. Good God, these things are a pain in the butt. But I don't want to sort of. Yeah, I'm trying to do this also, like, at least both cameras are picking it up. Because I don't want you to think I'm cheating and sort of looking ahead so I know what's going on. It's just I want to show you guys exactly what is in the pack as I get it. So. Corey Williams for the Bulls. Doc Rivers for the Knicks. Tim Perry for the 76ers. And the Ange for the Suns. Scott Brooks for the Rockets. Willie Anderson for the Spurs. Antonio Antoni Carr. Well, there you go. There's another one of the uh, the signature move move ones with Brad Doherty and the sweeping hooks for the Cavs. We have a Hornets. Schedule, 76's schedule. Ugh. The cards are sticking together. The Mailman! Carl Malone with his signature special delivery dunk. And Raphael Edison to finish off the pack. The thing is, like these ones, as you can tell by the crinkling, they sealed in foil, so obviously they've been sitting through a lot of heat. Many, many years of hot summers and cold, cold winters, and I wouldn't be surprised if the, uh, the laminate that they put on these cards hasn't melted a tiny bit over the years. As you can see, my uh, my ex expert uh, card turning skills that I picked up in poker. <laughs> Never play me in poker, I can cheat. Um, Keith Atkins, Danny Ferry. Corey Blount, another Bulls player. Which, <laughs> you notice he hasn't got the Bulls, so that's probably his college card, so that was all they had of him before they went to print. Mark West from the Suns, Tim Ledger from the Mavericks, Larry Stewart from Bullets, Strickland from the Trailblazers. Come on, stop sticking. Isaiah Thomas from the Pistons, Detroit Pistons. Rapid penetration, he was a quick little bugger back in the day. Cliff Robinson, six man award season leader. Tim Hardaway, crossover dribble. Another playoff highlights. And Dino Raja, white man. Very weird to see a white man in the NBA. <laughs> I, know that, I know that sounds racist, but really, when you think about it, how many white people are. Do, do, how many white people of note are there in the NBA at any point in time that are not named Larry Bird? If people even remember Larry Bird. You know, as you can see, I'm not really paying much attention with the peels on these packs. Because I only need one to be in, in decent condition. I think that one of my very first ones was actually a decent rep, so... So... So we didn't get bad on, not too bad on the, uh, I'm having a flip and turn for this. Pornus from the Pistons, 
Randy White for the Mavericks. Zadiel Tritti. Sam Castile. No one who's not actually in proper colours yet. Dwayne Coswell. Terry Porter. Buck Williams. Then Buck. Oh, one of those guys. And we got our first double. Cliff Robinson. And then we got our highlights. Highlights. Jordan in game one of the NBA Finals. Looking like a boss. Because he was. And we got Dude in the Lakers. Now, I know these aren't exactly the most sort of action packed things that we do here. But how many other places are willing to go back and spend their own money to bring <laughs> to bring a bit of the past into the present? So I might keep that specific pack because that was a good pull. Good rip. Thank you for a trip of the past through the days of when we were growing up. Um, you know, not that many people will ever be willing to sort of drop money to show you how things were in the past. You know, everybody's concerned about the now and all that crap. Del Curry, Kenny Smith. Jeff Turner, Richard Dumas, J.R. Reed. <laughs> Isn't it bad when that's the only shot that they have for you? Is, you know, a, a one where you're laying on your ass. That's just terrible. Lou Edwards for the Bucks. A good old Charles Barkley as an MVP for that year. We got a playoff highlights. Defensive player of the year, Hakeem Olajuwon. Bulls, Jordan, again, looking like a boss because Jordan's a boss. And Walter Bond. Yeah, I know, people are going to go, oh, LeBron James, LeBron James. You know, LeBron James couldn't carry around Michael Jordan's jockstrap. You know, there's videos floating around over there. Yeah, they've got more consecutive wins or playoff wins or whatever than the Bulls had and Jordan had in his career. But, honestly, when it comes down to career versus career, Jordan is a brand name. It's something that you will never really see again. Um, like, the guy was making plays in a very different era and a very different style of game than what we have here today. And just to make things quicker, I'm going to pull the last three packs and just pull them, pull them all into one shot. Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, there was different, different styles of scoring, different styles of players back then versus now. And, yeah. People are going, oh, LeBron James, LeBron James is the best, blah, blah, blah. No, bullshit. The 90s players, man, Jordan, Barkley, Elijah Wan, O'Neal, man, like, we had real good players back then. And we were also, and we were playing a tougher game, too. You know, we were actually allowed to get physical back in those days, man, like, you'd see, you'd see people getting checked, man, like, really getting hammered out there on the court. And compared to today, today's little foo-foo, you know, tap me on the shoulder and and that's a foul BS that you see in today's games. Man, like, it's two completely different, two, two completely different errors in game when it comes down to, um, like, styles and stuff, man, but... Yeah, you know, I I will give I will give LeBron, you know, I give him his due. He's a good kid, and he 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 knows his shit out there on the court. But I'll still say every single time, Jordan will always, always be the superior ball player. Always. 
and like but that being said just remember 2k uh nba 2k 17 this year uh they went with jordan last year as their legend they're going with LeBron James this year as their legend. And uh, for those of you watching it during June 2016, um, just remember that coming up on the PlayStation Network this month, if you are a PlayStation Plus, Plus subscriber, you can download NBA 2K16 for free. And then you can see for yourself how to play one of the best basketball simulators out there today. I really probably shouldn't have done this with this card, these type of cards. So pretty much um, at this stage as I'm going through the last three packs all in one, one lot just to sort of try and save a bit of time. There's a clip of schedule. Now look at this schedule, like I'll give you a quick close up on the schedules. Like, that's a lot of games. Let's go on November 5th through to April 24th. It's a lot of games. It's a lot of games, man. Playoffs. It's Pippin doing his thing. In the finals. More highlights. More Spurs players. They're in the Mavericks. Hawks. <laughs> it's Agumon. No, just kidding. <laughs> it's not Agumon. Uh, that was a John Paxton card again. <laughs> wow. Not even a single uh, shot of him on the court. they got to use his, his little profile photo thing. That's, that's ridiculous. It's another checklist card. There you go, there's the boy, there's the man, like a boss, scoring season leader, Michael Jordan, yep, block shots, Hakeem Olajuwon, he was a very defensive player back in the day, I'll tell you that, good old, good old Hakeem Olajuwon. So no Barclays, no straight uh, numbered series Jordans, no one to three D triple double card. As as we make our way through the final lots. Oops. Cavaliers team card. The Suns. Pippen once again. Danny Manning. Mr. Smith. Haskins. John Williams. No, not the one that does the music. Now I'm not even sure if I've started going through once again. I'm sure I'll know at some point. Clippers, Suns, yeah, I think we've started going in circles. Yep, we have. <laughs> so yeah, that's a, it's not a bad little starter set there, actually. Very bereft of, uh, of doubles, actually, so, who knows, I might even buy a box of these down the track, but, <laughs> Here's where it becomes a little bit extra. I know I don't have to pull a Jordan out. Because I've already got a Jordan. I've had that for 20 years. Standard Michael Jordan. I've had that for 20 years. Of course, i got the scoring leader. I've had that for 20 years. The hang time Jordan. I've had that one for 20 years. So I get to replace two out of, out of three. 
a Michael Jordan 3D card. These were a completely different set, if I remember correctly. Oh, yes, that's right. I could cash that in. No, actually, no, it's not that one. This one I got after the promotion finished. I could have cashed that in and got a full set of cards back in the day. But that's an unredeemed Michael Jordan one. So yeah, I do have a small set of Jordan specific cards, but nothing like actually pulling fresh ones. So thank you once again for joining me as I go through the good old Upper Deck series. And uh, maybe next time I do one of these I'll do something else rather than basketball. Maybe I'll go, I don't know, get some Power Ranger cards or something. Something different. But keep tuned here on theouterhaven.net for all sorts of weird and wonderful shit. Once again, Resident Old Fart, I'm out.